Hi, and welcome along to the Invincible Podcast with my man Lee Judges. Brought to you today by Who Knows Wins, the excellent app where you can go on to and you can do your pick 10, right? There's 10 games. All you've got to do, get as many of them right as possible, and you have a chance to win up to £10,000. There's a pot of that £10,000 each and every week, right? Just pick out your 10. Last week... Oh, you're a bit chirpy today, aren't you? Last week... Chirpy. Yes, yes, yes. Last week, <laughs> you know when he did, the, you know when he did the remix. <laughs> Last week, of course, you know of I, course. I absolutely battered him. You know what I mean? You know what? I got six out of ten. Yeah. I got five, so it was a right battering. You got five, wasn't it? Like, yeah, <laughs> he right got battering. Got, right, well, he yeah. gets battered, and where he goes, <laughs> he gets battered. Slapped right? up, I love it. Slapped, Slapped up. up, right? The thing is about it, right, is that the games that let me down last week, I couldn't believe it, man. They were, they were games where I was sort of thinking, you know what? Should I go draw? No, go win, and then it was a draw. Oh man, I'll tell you, I, I could have been. Did you get? Did I could have been. Oh, I could have been sitting on a ten grand, man. I won money? some money, yeah. Uh, cool. Yeah, what about? I think about ten or something. Oh, well, that's right? ten is better than nothing. Yeah, isn't it? ten more than what you got. <laughs> <Yeah>. Ten pounds <laughs> <10 laughs> more than what I got. Like, yeah, ten pounds more than what you got, and let me just run through this week's. Before we say right, Jackie, who does all this sort of stuff and all that, like. She messaged me, right? Unbelievable. Now, if anybody watches this regular, knows that I'm winning by a country mile, right? Turn around and said, Lee, you lost to Robbie. You've got to up your game. You know? <laughs> She's right. You tell him, Jackie. You tell him, Jackie. Oh, yeah, I mean, Judges oh, wait, gets battered put... everywhere he goes. <laughs> Judges gets battered everywhere he goes. Everywhere he goes. I had to put her straight. I had to put her straight. I said, oi. I said, oi. <laughs> All right, listen. This week, um... The 10 games that have been selected, these are my picks, right? Go, go, go. Um, Villa versus Norwich, I went Villa with a win. Even though Villa have been really, really poor. You know what? That's gone, really under, that's gone under the radar, you know? How bad yeah. Villa have been. When you consider the players they've got, you know what I mean? Steven Gerrard has been awful. Yeah, since January, it's, it's gone right down. Yeah, they're, they're, they're right down near the bottom. I mean, it's gone under the radar. They can I know, into it. I know, I know, I know everybody it. loves Stephen Gerrard, but he's been awful. Um, but I'm going for a Villa win over Norris because they've been even worse, right? Uh, Blackburn versus Bournemouth. Gone for Bournemouth. You were right. saying to me just before the show, they got yeah. you know they could they could miss out. They could miss on out automatic for, promotion for if they don't on, win on the, on the mission. And if if if. Uh, uh, you know, Blackburn, by the way, are, are a team fighting for, um, you know, like the playoffs yeah. as well. If they were to lose that game, Bournemouth would have been right up yeah. there. Points, points, points. Could also, can be overtaken yeah. with two games left. But I'm going Ooh. for Bournemouth. I want Bournemouth to come up, man. That's a good away. It is a good away. That's good away. No disrespect, Blackburn fans, but um, yeah. You yeah, know the coast. Uh, <laughs> Bournemouth's a little nice. Sandy beaches. <laughs> come on, Bournemouth. Yeah. Uh, Coventry versus Huddersfield. Um, I've gone for a draw. Um, Middlesbrough versus Stoke. I've gone for a Middlesbrough win. They've been faltering a lot recently, Middlesbrough. Yeah. Um, but surely Stoke are out of it. You know, we really got much to play for. So no. I think Stoke. Uh, I think uh, Middlesbrough. Nottingham Forest versus Swansea. As you said, uh, Forest have been flying. I've gone for a Forest win. They could get automatic promotion as well. Reading versus West Brom. I've gone for Reading. Another got Paul Ince took over at Reading. They were looking like relegation for guaranteed. And he has done a miracle job mm, there and made job. them safe. So big up to him. You know what I mean? Um, Southampton versus Crystal Palace. This was an interesting one. I've gone for a Southampton win. Bloody Palace, since they've beaten us, have, have not, I know. have gone nowhere near the heights of that game. I know, I know. Patrick, what have you done to us? Patrick, we, he's just saved it all for us. Watford versus Burnley. Whew. I'll tell you what, if Burnley win that, if Burnley win Burnley that, will win it, do you think they win? I've gone for a Burnley win. If they do win, what that, have you seen their home oh, record? Awful, awful. Their home record. They've literally lost every game at home this season. It's been yeah. terrible. If they were to win that Burnley, the Ever great escape is on. I yeah, know. Everton and Leeds are in. And do you remember a few weeks ago when um, Sean Dyche got sacked, yeah. and everybody was like, including even me, I was yeah, like, yeah, what, are they, they, yeah. what the hell are they doing? I remember I said to Ty the other day, I go, you know what? We all said, what the hell are they doing? But what if they stay up? They got it spot on. And I go, at the moment, you know what I mean? <laughs> There's definitely been a resurgence in the team since he's gone. Well, yeah, unbelievable. Yeah. Unbelievable. Yeah, and I, I think they'll beat Watford. If, if I do, it's on. Yeah, I think it's on anyway. Wolves versus Brighton. 
Um, I've gone for a draw. Wolves have been really, really poor recently. Brighton's a team capable of getting a draw, definitely. And Leeds versus Man City. Yeah. It's got to be, even though City had that really tough game against Real Madrid. What a game, by the way. What a game. Um, I'm going for um, a Man City win. Don't forget, enter your pick 10 right now. Click the link in the description. Get involved. Deposit £5 and you're involved. So get involved in it right, right now. Did you see that game? Yeah, I, I didn't see the, I see the highlights, and uh, so I didn't know the score. <laughs> what, what a, a game. game. What a game. Did you not watch that game and think to yourself, we need to be back there, man? Ah, oh, that's when you get... So we I, need I to be back there. I don't care what anybody there. says about Champions League. I don't think it's great up until the knockouts. So I don't care what anybody says. The group stages and all that don't really interest me, but as a neutral... But once it gets to that knockout stage, we've had some great games. Of great Chelsea. games of Chelsea, Chelsea Real Madrid. Real Madrid this was one. great. This this one was uh, yeah. was up there. You know, uh, some Brilliant. of the goals, by the way. And I don't have to say it. It's Benzema. He's just come on, he? Uh, what a! It's just unbelievable. So clinical. At trick in the quarterfinals. At trick uh, in the last uh, the one before yeah. last. At trick. At trick. Two goals at Man City. Mm. And hat -trick, hat trick at Chelsea. Think about the hat tricks. Hat trick against PSG. PSG. Hat, -trick Hat trick against, against Chelsea. Chelsea. Two against Man Two City. Against Man City. <laughs> we ain't scored a Man City <laughs> twice in years. When you talk about big time players, you know what I mean? What, what? a player. And he hadn't had a sniff. No. I, I didn't even he didn't know he was playing. Ball comes across bang. Yeah. Oh, incredible. Yeah. Incredible. Yeah. That's the sort of player we need at Arsenal. What a penalty as well. Oh, <laughs> Penenka. <laughs> you know, and yeah. remember, that's not a Penenka. Well, I've seen three. Some Poor penalties over the weekend. <laughs> you know, like, blue, blue. But, but that's not a Penenka against a, just a regular goalkeeper either. That's, oh, no. That's no. Edison in goal. Pressure you know what I mean? What, what a quality. And I, I, I'm just watching it and I'm jealous. I'm like, oh, we need to be back in that. And we've got a chance to be back in it. And that's what we're going to talk about today. We're going to look at that. Yeah. Right? Um, I know you want to big up. Um, yeah, yeah. Before we go, before we start, yeah. with, like, you know, big up to. Um, you know, uh, Lauren Parker, she's a big, massive gooner, apparently, and um, she's uh, fighting uh, uh, on um, Saturday. So, um, good luck. Uh, yeah, good luck to her. Good luck, Lauren, and um, hope you win. And got to uh, get you on the show, Lauren. We'll get you on the, I'll get you on the show. Yeah, Lauren, let's like, get yeah. Lauren on the show, we'll man. You know, I mean, the show. I mean, uh, you know what? Um, women's boxing has come on so much. Yeah. Right? I mean, when you, when you watch the women boxing now, a lot of times, their fights are way more entertaining than the men. Mm. You know, you know, if you compare Brutal that to the Tyson well, Fury yeah, one last week, yeah. that was so one-sided. Yeah, too one-sided. You know, yeah. but you know, you see what some of the women fights is brutal, and you know they're skillful, and uh, you know, I love, I love watching their, the, the women's boxing. I, I, I will say that with women <coughs> boxing and all that, women's football has started really. Uh, football's got become yeah. really fantastic. Some of the, the goals and what I've seen, but it's sort of really got into it this season yeah. following the Arsenal. Bloody Chelsea, they'll keep winning. But they're going to win it, innit? Chelsea, yeah, they're going to win it. Like, awesome. you know I mean? We're relying on Spurs. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, there was, like, a, there like, was a game like, earlier on the season with Arsenal ladies where they got beat by Birmingham, oh, I think it was. Like bottom of the league side, yeah. And it was like, what? I oh, know. And that's that cost us. game, cost us. that game is going to cost them the title, yeah. I think. Yeah, they had a little dodgy little spell when they yeah. was, just couldn't score and they've come back. But yeah. it's really, really good. Like, as you say, I watched them. The, the rugby like uh, the England women's rugby they're, they're pretty wow. good we, we, you, know, you know what talking of that Lee yeah, I was at a I was at a conference um, yesterday um, called Sports Pro big up to the guys from Sports Pro and I was sat next to and um, they had like a dinner afterwards um, which they invited me to thank you very much for that and I was sat next to the lady who's in charge of Six Nations Rugby Ooh. and I was actually talking to her and I was saying I was going I watched the women's rugby and I was like, wow, this is brilliant. And she was saying that. Yeah, fantastic. She's talking about the big game this weekend. I think it's England v France. Yeah. That's the big one because yeah. she was saying that a lot of the other teams um, are still semi-professional, but England are professional. Yeah, they're catching up. Like, so yeah. she's going, they want to bring the levels up of all the other teams. Um, but I said to her, I go, it was so entertaining. And I was yeah. some of them women. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Explosive, I'll oh, tell you that. Sorry, well, like, yeah, I, no, no, so women's sport is, is no, no. You, you know what it is. You know what it is now, Lee. Right? It's getting a lot of women's sport is getting a level playing field. Yeah. To the it's not just like oh, there's a football game and then there's a women's. 
You know what I mean? And, and, and another thing, funny, funny enough, as we're on football, I was talking to somebody at Arsenal at the same conference. And again, we were talking about um, the subject went on to women's football, which we were both bigging up, you know, again, the Arsenal team and Mead and Mar and Beth Mead and all these brilliant players they've got. But what I was saying to her is, don't you think that sometimes they could do a game um, where it would be the men's team? So, so you know, like last weekend we played yeah. Man United, right? I, I was it. saying to her, couldn't they do something like, for instance, they do with the Emirates Cup, where you have two games on one yeah, day. Yeah. So you could almost have it like a double header against the same team. So it'd be Arsenal ladies versus Man United ladies. And, then, and that and would then, come on first. Yeah, and then the Arsenal. And then afterwards, the, 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 the Arsenal side. men play. Yeah. But she was saying to me that what the problem with it is, is that they're different the different associations. You know, she goes, like you've got the WSL, you've got the Premier League, yeah, and the FA, so they'd have to, but, I think you know. I mean that. You know, I don't. I'm not saying you do that for every game, but I think some of them big games. Oh, if we're playing Tottenham, why not have a double header? Yeah, it, it's, it makes it. It's not like these. You know, no, no one can say the pitches are going to get all turfed up and nah. that. Them days are done, isn't it? No, no, nah, nah, they just stay as the good. The pitches as can hold up for two games, yeah, and they do it with the Emirates Cup. Yeah. So, you but know, I think, I think Arsenal. Ladies are playing top. <coughs> they are next week Wednesday. Wednesday, like next week Wednesday. That was the postponed game yeah. that they were going to have, which was really unfortunate because I think they was expecting a really big crowd. Hopefully, people will get along to that as well. Next yeah. week Wednesday, I'm, I think I'm going to try and get along. Yeah, to that. I think it's going to be at the Emirates, a, isn't it? At the Emirates Stadium, yeah. yeah. So, um, but um, talking of Arsenal, Tottenham, Lee. Oh. After last weekend, Arsenal beating Manchester United, right? Tottenham. Again, slipping up, dropping points at um, Brentford, which I have to say, they were very fortunate to get out of there with a point, mm. the way Brentford played. It's now come down to a straight shootout between the two North London clubs. Yeah. Is North London going to be, or I shouldn't even say North London, is that four spot going to be red or white? Who's going to take that spot? It's a straight shootout now, Lee. Well, do you know what? Football, uh, you cannot predict football. No. You cannot predict it because, you know, Tottenham would have thought, right, I'm, I'll be honest, you're a Spurs fan, you're thinking, right, we've got Brighton and Brentford, they've got Chelsea and and uh, mm. Man United. i tell you what, I love it. I love it when I put something on, in my mentions on Facebook or on Instagram or whatever, and Spurs... Spurs mates are getting in there. Ah, Chelsea, give it to you. Like, love it. <laughs> love it. Because that means that, you know, they're, they're panicking. They're not happy about it. And, like, I would have never... If you would have said to me, walking out after the game... Well, I was actually... When I was in Dubai, at um, that Southampton game, if you would have said to me, we're going to win our next two games, Spurs won't win against Brighton and Brentford, you know what I mean? I would have said, you're absolutely mad. You're deluded like Ty. You know what I mean? Like, you know what I mean? <laughs> but it's happened. It's so happened. You, just, you just don't know in football. And I'll tell you what, people people, people said to me the other day, oh, what are you going to predict results? I'm not predicting no results now. But I will say this, I will say this, that the next game, if Manchester, uh, sorry, Arsenal are playing West Ham, Tottenham are playing Leicester. Leicester and West Ham are both in those semi-finals. If either one of those two teams slip up on that, then they don't deserve top four. You know, honestly, Arsenal and Tottenham should have a comfortable win mm. on on the weekend. Um, but if it, if it does go, oh god, it's, it's uh, a crazy. You know what, Lee? This is what somebody asked me on Saturday after the game. I was interviewing the fans, obviously after the game, and this fan said to me, "What would you can only take one batch of this? What would you take?" Right. The three losses that we had, Palace, Brighton, Southampton. Or the other two. Or the wins over um, Man United and Chelsea. So he goes, you can have the three, you can have those three games and have those as wins, which you'd have more points off of that as well, yeah. right? Or you take the last two, what would you take? So it would be, it, if it was the other way around, we would have won those three. Yeah. We would have won Palace, Southampton, Brighton, then we would have lost to United, lost to Chelsea. Or would you take it the way around that it's gone? 
Great question. It's a great question. Great I'd question. have to take like, the, the extra three points because we'd be on, <coughs> we'd be on five points clear now. Like, you know what? what? But no, I, I'm, I'm, taking, I'm taking the last two. But yeah, yeah but the, Do you know why I'm taking the last two, Lee? The, yeah, because. Momentum. Yeah, yeah. Momentum. We, we are going in there a lot more. I, 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 I'm going to be honest, and, 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 and I never see that coming against Chelsea. And I will say this, that football is, is a strange game because I thought we played really well against Chelsea. I thought Man United were a better team. I've looked at the game and watched it. Mm. They were a better team. They um, were a better team. I thought it was an even match. I wouldn't say they were better because... That penalty I, I, was a I, massive, massive... I, I thought, yeah, the, that's exactly. If they would have scored that penalty, it would have been an even match. I thought it was an even match. They turned on that penalty, then missing that penalty, but they had chances, but we had chances too. They, we made defensive errors, they made defensive mm. errors too, you know what I mean? So, I, I, I just think it was an even match, but I felt that the momentum of Chelsea yeah, it was just... made us win that game. That's what I'm saying, when I look on it, it could be that momentum. When those Arsenal players are going into games now, from now till the end of the season, they can look back and say, well, we beat United. We beat Chelsea. Nobody gave us a prayer against Chelsea. We went and we put four past them. That what that does for your mindset. Well, yeah, hundred percent. You go, you, know I mean? you going into, you lose, you know, you lose to Man United, Chelsea. That Tottenham game coming up, we're all scared. I mean, I'm fearful of it anyway. But you're all scared. You know, you're thinking, yeah. you're yeah. thinking, you know what? I, I, I don't think we get nothing out. Now all of a sudden, fans are like, you know what? Yeah. I'm scared of going to Tottenham. Yeah, we can get something out of that. You know what I mean? I, I think those last two wins were absolutely yeah, massive. Massive. Absolutely massive. And there's been certain players that have stepped up in those games. I yeah. mean, let's first of all talk about the Granite Jacker, the goalie scorer. Oh. I, know, I know sometimes when you go to the games, you sit right next to his family, don't you? Last year I did, like, yeah. Yeah, yeah last year you sat near his family. Yeah. I mean, Big up to Big what up to a him. goal. I, I, I'm going to say that I, I'm delighted for him, and I, I can see it because I see what. Yeah, he's done things wrong in the past. I, I don't think he gets the credit he deserves. I, I and and I can you know vouch and say that he is a really really nice guy. You know what I mean? Mm. And what I like about him, there's a couple of things I like about him, is that you cannot intimidate him. You know, like even the game against Chelsea, like people wanting to push our youngsters about, in he goes, and and they don't want to mess with Granite. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Like, I love that. I love mm -hmm. that he's got that. But ultimately, I just think it was a great, great moment when he scored and he went mm. to the crowd and it was like, I'm sorry, mm. we forgive, you know what I mean? It was, it was all in one moment. I'm very, very emotional about that. Yeah, it's like, a great it was, moment. It was just a great, great moment of, you know, but his last two performances, uh, 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 when we've needed it, without Thomas Party, my my God, he has stepped up to the plate, and I, you know, yes, he has done some unforgivable things at times. But when it's mattered, and when Arsenal played well this season, he's been a part of that. Yeah. And, and the performance against Chelsea, you know, I just thought was was out, outstanding. And he backed it up two and a half days later, Robbie, with that game against Man United. Him and him and El Nini, fantastic in that. Yeah, game. well, that's the next one I was going to go on to, El Nini. Mohamed El Nini, you know, fasting as well. Remember, right? So yeah, walks yeah. out onto a pitch. He ain't drunk nothing. He ain't eating nothing, and puts in performances like that. Energetic, hard working, doing all the dirty work. Basically, that's in the last two games. That's what he's done. Yeah, he's basically said, "I'm going to do all the dirty work, right, in front of the um, defense, and the rest of you can get forward and play." Although even I, I say that he's when he has had the ball, he's done well. He's with done it. well with it. He's yeah. had quality passing and. But he stepped up to the plate as a squad. I, um, they, we were talking the other day about um, players that the difference between certain players, right? You've got some players that sit on the bench and sulk, and moan and winch. Yeah. You've got other players like, you know, like you look at Liverpool, that Divock Origi, where on any time he's called upon, he will deliver. He won't whinge and moan about sitting on the bench. And then he's a bit like that, isn't it? I mean, without the goals, but he's a bit like that. that yeah. Any time he's called upon, he, he, he does the business. They're a different breed. And I'm telling you that now. You need someone like that in the, you need someone like that in the squad because not everybody's going to be happy when they're not playing. You can only play 11. 
But whether he plays or not, he's very, very happy. Or, I don't say he's happy, but he doesn't show it. He, he, he puts the team before himself mm. every occasion. That's the word. Uh, and, and what I do like about it, and I, I, I've always said this about El Nini, play him in against the top teams, he does a good job. Maybe if you're playing a team, I don't know, say like Burnley at home or something like that, it's probably not the, the answer because he's not that creative. creative. Mm. But when you're up against it, like a, a Man United or a Chelsea, digging in, you know, uh, intercepting and everything like that. And I, I did say a couple of weeks ago, um, I would have played him because he mm. was he had games in the in the African nations. I think it was a horrendous decision, mm. by the way, from Mikel not to play him against Brian. Yeah, I thought that was a you know what I mean like that that whole thing and putting Xhaka in that left back and, and then not playing him any yeah. there was like you know uh, yeah. listen it's gone it's done it's done. But for me now them two stay in that midfield every game you know but I'll tell you what when Partey comes back and if he is fit he'll come in place of El Nenny and mm. El Nenny won't sulk won't moan or whatever mm. and that's why he's special yeah that's why he's special because yeah. you just get on with it you've got to have players like that in your, you, you, yeah. you, you named it there Lee you've got, you've got to have players like that you've got players like that in your squad with the right attitude like that that basically for them it's about the team yeah and I will say it's this it's about the team I will say this about Lacazette and all, he's another one. I know, yeah. like yeah. you know, when I don't know if you noticed it after the game. Um, first, one to congratulate Eddie at Chelsea. Yeah. I noticed that um, when when we scored the penalty that sort of sealed it. He was really jumped, not mm. sulking, not thinking. Oh, yeah. I'm there at the side. I could that was not a be playing. A few week. weeks ago, he was a captain. Yeah, and now for the last two games, the, the huge games, big games, he sat it out. He set it out. But he's like, you know, he's like, listen, and he, he, you know, this is probably going to be gone at the end of the season. And there was people saying to me, yeah, but that interview did. I said, listen, I, for me, I don't go off of things like no, that. I no. go off of what, what I, see I see on, on the, the pitch. pitch. And his attitude, like you said, Lee, first guy celebrating with it when Jack scored that goal, he's yeah. running over there. To, you know what I mean? So to me, he's up for the cause. If at the end of the season for his career he decides that he wants to leave and he wants to go to a team like Lyon or whoever, that's up to him. He's, he's a professional footballer. His career, he's probably got like four or five years left max. You know, it's, that's, that's up to him. But whilst you're at this football club, do your best for it. Yeah. and, and Do your best for it. And he's doing it. And, and what, what I also <coughs> think is a great thing, and a, a little bit with Shaka and a little bit with Lacazette, is that... No, no two ways about it. He's been criticised by the Arsenal fans for his last few performances and all that. They get to hear about that. They know what goes on. You know what I mean? They, they, mm. they know. But he still hasn't stopped him no. being, being professional. What he is, being professional. Professional. I, I think. Listen, Pick if up. if you are a football uh, a footballer at a club like Arsenal, Man United, Chelsea, Spurs, probably Man City, Liverpool. You've got to understand it's a different type of pressure. Yeah. These are huge clubs. Stuff that you could probably get away with at Brighton, performance-wise. It's no disrespect to them. You're not going to get away with it, Arsenal. It's too many eyes on your performances. So the criticism is going to be amplified. So you've got to embrace that in a way. You've got to embrace the fact that that is going to be amplified. And, uh, you know, honestly, uh, the, the He's been professional. El Nenny's been professional. You know, these guys that have come in, they, they've done... I mean, Nuno had a bit of a dodgy oh. game. <laughs> you know, I think you could... Mixed bag, I think was what you said. Mixed bag, scores, but then gives away a penalty. And, you know, I mean, I think someone's just got to get into Nuno and say, he's just got to be a bit more disciplined. Yeah, he's this, a little... You know? He's rash, isn't he? He's raw. Yeah. He's raw. But what I liked about his performance, <coughs> and I will say this... Is that he rode it? He, you know, didn't didn't hook him off, so he, he had to he had to endure what, and come through it at the other mm. end. And he did this time. I thought, like you know, he had a, a horrendous twenty minutes of that game. <laughs> but, you know what I mean? He, he actually couldn't pass from here to me, me to you. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, and he's it, going on his runs and he beat two, three players and then give it away. Give it away. He just had a <clears throat> but he rode that and then come mm. back again. Yeah. And you know, I I, I thought he'd done okay in the end. So uh, I'm pleased for him. Um, yeah, and, and it wasn't the greatest performance. Listen, I, I, I'll be honest, it weren't the greatest, but who cares? 
I don't care. You don't care, man. It, it, it was all about before going to that game. It was about oh, just about getting the result. Getting the result. One nil. People were saying that. I give credit to you because you've actually said three mm. one. Uh, Turkey said three one as well. Yeah, I said a hard fought three yeah, one. Yeah, which, exactly it was, was. which it was. But I didn't see a scoring three goals. So um, credit to you guys for, for for predicting that, like you know. But it it, it was hard fought. It wasn't the the greatest performance in the world. But I tell you what, I don't care. You know, I don't care if we don't play well at West Ham, and, but, but nick a win. And then nick a win against Leeds. Mm. Oh, I think it's important, Rob, that we go to Tottenham with points in... Like if, we yeah. can, if we can win our next two games, we, we go to Tottenham with, uh, with hopefully, with a five-point gap if, if they lose to Liverpool. And I think that would be... I, I, going to White Hart Lane with, with a five-point gap, I'm not saying it's going to happen, but if I, I, I'm, I'm going to wake up Thursday morning a little bit more confident Buzzing. yeah yeah you know what i mean we need to go into that yeah. game with some points in, in the i bank. mean when when i uh i'm looking at it now and i'm saying right so both of us in a way like you said them as well we're but i think probably the advantage even more with us <clears throat> we're catching west ham at the right time they're catching Leicester at the right yeah. time as well because Leicester have got that semi-final as well but I think in particularly for us, going away to West Ham, a team that was also going for the top four, now I don't think they've got any chance of the top four. They're out of it now. Um, still got a chance to get in the Europa League. <laughs> their chance is winning it. No, no, their chance for the top four yeah, is by uh, winning the Europa yeah, League. Yeah, 100%. Or getting into the Europa League, right? Because I, I don't think they're going to get into the top four. They've got, they've played 34 games, which is a game more than Arsenal, and they're currently eight points behind them. And to make up that, and to make up that, you know, six on Tottenham as well, is going to be really, really difficult, Tough. right? Last week, West Ham, when they played um, against Chelsea, they rested Bowen. Yeah. They rested Antonio. Right. <clears throat> they rested De rested Declan Rice, and they haven't even they haven't even had the game yet. Yeah. <clears throat> Remember, the game against uh, Chelsea was on Sunday, and the game's Thursday. Yeah. Now they're going to have that game on Thursday, and then and then on Sunday. A couple of days later, they got to play Arsenal. So be surely, made. be made. Surely they're going to rest a couple of players for the second leg. Then there's the fact that Craig Dawson is their yeah. only fit centre back at the moment. We've got Noah Bonner, no Diop, no um, Zuma. Even if those guys are fit, why risk it? Be very time? yeah, right. So they might not have any established centre-back in that game. <clears throat> I mean, their focus is going to be on that Europa League, isn't it? This is a prime time for Arsenal to play them. I'm not saying that, listen, they could still maybe go strong. I don't know. But I just get the feeling, based off of what they did last week, they're going to rest some players. Uh, Arsenal will be fresh. They've got all week yeah. to put their, put their foot up. Arsenal. It's normally on the normally years gone by. It's the other way round, but this time around, Arsenal have got all week to put their feet up and be ready and prepared for this game. Coming off the back of wins against Chelsea and Man United, that we're catching them at a hundred percent. And it ain't just about them resting players, neither. Like you know, what I mean, if you were playing in that game and you are a Declan Rice or someone that you say right, Moisey Moise says right, I'm playing. <coughs> He's got to be having one eye. On, on that first, especially if it's tight, yeah. you know what I mean. Like, look, I, if if West Ham, look, West Ham, play your reserves. Let us win, and I'll be cheering <laughs> you all the way to the Europa League final. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, you know, I just be they be they've got. A, I think someone's called it the other day. I, I can't remember who it was. Turned around and said that the Euro, the, the Conference League, has got Marseille in it, Roma, Leicester. They've got like mm. on paper like bigger yeah. clubs than what. What's in the Euro? West Ham have the the, the opportunity. Eintracht Frankfurt. I, you know, Going Rangers or Leicester in the final. Yeah. Nail it, West Ham. Like you know, what I mean, get the monkey off your back. Tottenham fans then can never ever got you because you've won a trophy. <laughs> Come on, West Ham, do it over the two Europa League games and rest all your players for the Arsenal game. <laughs> that would be perfect. That would be perfect. And of course, you know, um, Tottenham got Leicester at home. I'd expect them to win that as well. For yeah, the, due for, to the, for the same, same reasons. Same sort of reasons. Players are going to be rested. Leicester haven't really got nothing to play for in the league. It's all on 
that for them because if they win the Conference League, that gets them into the Europa League and a trophy for next season and a trophy. So it's going to be interesting, but I think we're catching them at the right time now. If we can go and get a win at West Ham, right? I'd assume Tottenham would win. Yeah, I'm, I'm, at, I'm at, backing Tottenham. Yeah, uh, what, you're what, backing Tottenham, right? Eh? Uh, well, to win that game. <laughs> no, 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 no I, I, I'm hoping and praying out, but like, you know. Yeah, you, you'd say. For the same reasons as Arsenal, I yeah, expect Tottenham from, to yeah. win that game. Then the following week. Oh, now we're. Now, talking. this is where it's interesting. We've got Leeds at home. On Still not an easy game because Leeds are fighting. Sunday, that is, isn't Leeds, it? Yeah, Leeds ain't out of the relegation scrap no, yet. No. I don't expect Leeds to get any points this week. They've got Man City. Um, you know, so you wouldn't say they're, they're so they they will go into that game against Arsenal still in a relegation battle because you know Burnley have been on the ascendancy. If I, if if you look at the bottom of the table, you see Burnley. Um, they're on thirty one points. Right, Leeds ain't going to get nothing this week, right? Leeds are on thirty four points. Everton played thirty two. That's a a game less than um, Leeds are on twenty nine, right? So let's just say, for instance, um, Leeds won't get. I'd be shocked if they beat Man City. Listen, it can happen, but I'd be shocked. Let's say Burnley, they got Watford. They won. They won their game. They'll be on the same amount of points as Leeds. That means Leeds come to the Emirates really now looking like they need mm. to, to pick up some points. Yeah, in danger. Right? In danger, right? So it won't be an easy game for Arsenal. However, if we're at home. We're playing Leeds. We, you know what I mean? Massive incentive. Tottenham, on the other hand, have got to go away to Liverpool at Anfield. You know that is. Tough, tough game. And listen, we have seen them turn over Man City yeah, this yeah. season. I'm not saying it's, a, it's it's not it's not a given me that, that no. Liverpool are going to win that game because the way Tottenham play, that on the counter attack, they're, they're yeah. probably the best team at doing it, and Liverpool do do leave themselves open. So listen, yeah. but if, if you'd if be shocked though form, at Anfield where. Liverpool, I don't think they lost a game, no. you know, in the Premier League there no. this season. So if that if if it, if if it goes the way we want it to go, planned, we could be we, five points, five points going into that game, going into the game against Tottenham, beat Spurs the following Thursday. Beat Spurs, it, it's done. Beat Spurs, stick a fork in it, it's done. Yeah, actually, you're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it would be literally if 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 that scenario played out and it was five points. You're right. It'd be literally go to there, be eight points win clear. the game. Oh no! How many games? So after that game, we've got Newcastle and Everton. Two yeah. games left. We'd have eight points in front of them. Done. Could even possibly go there. No, they got a bit of goal difference in us. Too. Not by much. It's twelve to eighteen at the moment. Because I'm thinking it could even go there and get a point. Well, a point would still see us be five points clear with two games in hand. Well, two games left, sorry. So we still have to win one out of those two. Newcastle away, Everton at home. <coughs> no, listen. If Arsenal went there and there were five points ahead at that, in that scenario we just said, yeah? Because yeah. we're two points ahead at the moment. <coughs> so there's still six points to play for after that if it's a draw. So that would mean out of our next two games... We'd have to beat... We'd one. only need a draw. Well, no, well, no, because they've got a better goal average, so we need to win one of them. No, yeah, but that's what I'm saying. We'd be so if so. All right, the, the scenario we played out before the Tottenham game, right. we'd be five points ahead. Yeah, bear of us here, yeah. You're bear of you. <laughs> it's us dreaming, by the way. Oh, yeah. But listen, because you know football could change. But just going off, of, we'd be five points ahead, right, going into that Tottenham game. Yeah, yeah. If we got a draw against Tottenham at their place, yeah, we're still we five didn't. points clear. Oh yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah, with two games in hand. Yeah, right, yeah. Right. Bear, bear with you're us, right. like, yeah, <laughs> so. Obviously, Robbie didn't go to school <laughs> and so, do maths. So two draws in that in them last two games would secure it. No, or one win. One win, yeah. One one win sees us over the line. Or two draws. No, because they, they could still nick it, couldn't they? But on no, because it would still we be five points ahead. So you've got two draws, that'd be, that would give us seven. No, I think give us two points. 
Try and work that out. <laughs> Listen, mate, maybe I shouldn't indulge in this mathematics no, stuff. No, no, no. We've got to win one out of the next yeah. two to do it. Or we beat them. If we beat them, if, we, yeah. if it goes to the way we... The, not that, that, that nothing's formatted, but if it goes to the way we, we, we expect it to, if we... If Liverpool beat Tottenham and we win our next two games, which is not a former, we know that, you mm. know what I mean, the way things are gone. And then we went to Spurs, you know, that. Listen, the, the, let's get it right. Win our next three games, win our next three games, we have Champions League football. There you go. No pressure. <laughs> and do you know what, right? After that, after that Tottenham game, we've got Newcastle away. Tough. They, they, they've been brilliant at home. I think they're the most on-form team. I think they've lost... I think they've won seven of their last I think the, the, games the, at home. They're yeah. the most... In, apart from Liverpool, they're the most in-form team. January, in since since January, yeah, since yeah. January. Yeah. Right, so that's going to be tough. And then the last game of the season, I do think Everton, that last game of the season, it will be, they'll actually. be fighting for their lives. Yeah. Be, it'll be like, if they don't lose that, they're down. Listen, I know a few Everton fans... Right, obviously, for obvious reasons and all that. Mm. They're hoping that we are like go to Spurs and win. And that puts like a little bit of that, that last mm. game scenario is that we've already got Champions League football. Like that they're they're fearful if we mm. need something from that game and they do, that they <coughs> go down. So mm. they're, they're, you know they're, 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 Ever Evertonians are cheering on Arsenal, put it that way. Yeah, so right. just listen, this just as a reminder of that. Just so that people don't think the games we've got left are are Oh, easy games they're all tough West Ham catching them at the right time always difficult to go away in London derby but we're catching them at the right time I think that's a I think that's a game where you tick a box and say you know you don't know the outcome yet but that's a plus that we're catching them at the right time Arsenal versus Leeds we're going to have a Leeds that may need to do something at least a draw they'll be looking at Leeds will be thinking we need at least a point from that game because we ain't safe yet relegation is still beckoning for Leeds if you look at Leeds running right it's a really difficult running oh yeah they've got really tough, difficult tough, running they've got, I think they've got Chelsea still to play they've got City, Man City us. City yeah you know what I mean I think their next three games are Man City yeah. us and Chelsea hard running right then we go away to Tottenham even if they're even when they're at their worst that's a tough game eight years right? eight years since we won there, yeah. right? So, you know, um, first time going to their new stadium, difficult game, so much on it, tough game. Then we go away to Newcastle. That's a tough game. Everyone get that in their head right now. It's not the Newcastle of nah. a few months ago. This is a different Newcastle. Away is probably their last home game. So their fans are going to be in a celebratory yeah, mood. Yeah, are, yeah. Tough game. Their last game of the season, Everton, Probably battling. I think what you're looking at with Everton, they're well, going to be battling it out. I'm getting nervous again. Now. They're gonna, <laughs> they're gonna, I just want to put, put some perspective on it, right? Right. So that is not, you know, because somebody said to me the other day, oh, now that we've done them two, it's not too bad. I was going, no, let's steady on. Every game's right? going to be difficult. It's going to be difficult. But just to give people hope, you know, Tottenham also got to get their business done, right? So let's look at their games that, have got, that they've got coming up as well. Um, their games that they have coming up is Leicester at home. Again, catching them at the right time. Yeah, Leicester. Points. Yeah. But then they go to Anfield. Liverpool away. Tough. Tough game. Then after that, they got us. <laughs> That's going to be a tough game. It's a North London derby hard hard game even though it's at their place you're nervous there's so much on it and they need to win it i don't think a draw is going to be good enough for them at that stage they're going to probably need a win then they've got burnley at home again same scenario like what i said with, with leeds. leeds yeah and what i said with everton a burnley that's fighting for their lives but at the moment a burnley that's playing well yeah a burnley that could at that stage say to himself you know what a point at White Hart Lane. Got a point against us. A point at White Hart Lane is decent. That's yeah. enough. Yeah. That's 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 what could get us out of it. Then the last game of the season, this is where I think it's easier for Tottenham. They got Norwich away. They're already done. They're already they're done. They're gone already. You started to see already with Norwich. They're losing games yeah. for fun now. The spirit's gone from them. You'd expect Tottenham to win that game. If it comes down to that, 
they're going to be home and dry. Yeah. But leading up to those games, Leicester at home, Liverpool away, Arsenal, Burnley at home. Those are four tough games. <laughs> four hard games. So, you know, it's <laughs> who's got the nerve? And I do think it comes down to a shootout between them because I just think that after last week, I think United now. Man United now, you know what I mean? It's, listen, it's not impossible. We've seen how these past few games have gone. Now things are going to twist they've and turn. Chel- have they got Chelsea Thursday? They've got Chelsea on Thursday. And, and they've also, you know, they're also six points off Arsenal. Um, you know, so I, I think United, to get past United, to get United to get past Tottenham and Arsenal. Yeah, hang on. Oh, I can't Arsenal see can, it. If Arsenal beat West Ham, then, to- uh, then Chel- uh, Man United can't catch us. So it's yeah. as simple as that. You know? So... It's going to come down to a North London shootout. Yeah, it's going to come, uh, and it's going to be, uh, which is what um, Sky wanted. Yeah, you know what I mean. Let's hope that we don't let it happen. Like, you know what I mean? Like, win our next two games, Arsenal, and we are nearly, nearly there. And what would it mean for this team if it did get Champions League football? What difference would that make? Well, do you know what I was saying? Like, and, I, and I'll be really <coughs> honest. I, I think it would be a real big plus for Arsenal fans because it the, the Arsenal fans surely will come together now like there is still that little bit of Arteta you know is he the right person or whatever if he nails top four there's no argument there's mm. no argument anybody, anybody can you know you can't argue with it he's done it and and, and the club it's progress. That. It's progress it's, big, it's progress. Big, big, big progress and then it's up to the board then to back him, to, in, the to summer. Back him in the summer now, it would make for an interesting summer. It would make it? a very interesting summer. If it, it will really make a, an, an exciting summer, I mm. think, like, you know. So, um, because, you know, this is a club that has said that it's going to go big, you know. Um, so, let's see how big they go with, with, the, with the backing of Champions League football. There's no excuses for the ball then, you know. And, and Mikel would be in a strength of power then to have gotten them into the top four, uh, in my opinion. Uh, and, and I think that... It's still a big thing. If he, if he misses out on it, if Arsenal miss out on it, people uh, quite rightly will go, well, hold on a minute, you know, does he get this right, whatever, like, you know, you know, Arteta will come under a lot, but going into next season, we don't want all this no more, Robbie, of, like, pressure and all that, like, get the job done, go into next season with a big, like, a couple of real top, top players under our belt, and we can really start attacking things, you know what I mean? Mm. Like, but, but, this uncertainty and if, if and all that like you know can be put to bed with these next couple of games and, but listen anything can happen in football <laughs> I, I, I know that like. yeah no, well listen we've seen it over the past I'm five games I'm not predicting none of we've seen over the past yeah. five games isn't it? over the past five games you've looked on it and the but games that we thought you know going into Chelsea Robbie like this is a week ago because it's last Wednesday we played them this time last week 90% of Arsenal fans were saying like it's top four no it's done it's done. Mm. You know what I mean? We ain't getting it, like, you know what I mean? Roll on a week later, we have got a great chance, like, you know what I mean? So, I ain't predicting nothing, you know what I mean, like, because at the end of it, as football is funny, Tottenham could, if Tottenham were to go to Liverpool and win, then is, then, it, then it's a game changer. And that's not... And which was a game changer not, for us at Chelsea. That is yeah. the game changer. And the way they play, like you said, yeah. you pointed it out, on the counter-attack, Right, you know, I mean, not like the last couple of games where they're kind of expected to probably yeah, be on exactly, the front foot a bit. Exactly. Right, it suits their game. Yeah, you know, and we have seen them get results against teams like Man City. So, and they have got players that can, you know, pull off a shot. So, it's going to be interesting. Listen, it, we're coming, we're drawing down towards the end of the season, the climax, and it's not letting us down at the moment. But we just like to just. <laughs> Well, I'm bloody nervous oh, now, going into Sunday all that talk. You know what I mean? It's like uh, you know, I've had a couple. Of, I've had a nice week, and but listen, this is the pressure. I'd rather be in our position mm. than a West Ham or a Wolves, and you know, like we was last season down in the Apes and all that. Like I'd rather be where we are. Yeah, a couple of sleepless nights and get through it. Yeah, than than not. You know what I mean? We've got a chance not only <coughs> to get top four, get Champions League football, but also get above Tottenham, and that for me, is, is a big thing. We've not done it for a few years. So, mm. like, I, I, I'll, I'll be honest, Robbie, if we were six and they was uh, seventh, you know, it was still that North London derby means just as much to me 
as this one, you know mm. what I mean, coming up like, I want to get above them, I want to go there, eight years of, of eight years of pain, not, we've had a couple of draws in that are granted, but mm. ultimately, Arsenal Football Club should not be going eight years without winning down there, you mm. know what I mean, like, get it done, let's get, get the two wins against West Ham and, and Leeds. Imagine, and if it did, imagine if it did come down to that game and we beat them there, I mean, that'd well, be, that'd be, it could be the other way. Well, Sorry. Let's get our let's get our tin hats. <laughs> you know what I mean, enjoy the enjoy the night. Like, you know we I mean? need like, tin hats for sure. sure as well. We need tin hats that night. If that does happen, like, you know what I mean, they won't be happy. They, they won't be. They won't be happy. No, they, they won't, won't be. be happy, they won't like, be. Like, um, yeah, listen, I'm looking forward to that game. I'm looking forward to every game now from now to the end of the season. And let's hope we can get the job done. But it is coming down to a straight shootout between the North London clubs, and uh, one of us, I think, is going to be in that top four next season and um, we're going to find out over the next few weeks listen thanks for watching the show and listening to the show today uh, don't forget right you can download this podcast on all your normal formats go to also who knows wins the link is in the description um, enter in your pick 10 deposit five pounds you've got a chance to win a share of ten thousand pounds unless you're as bad as lee but <laughs> <laughs> Ah, see, I'll be Judges back gets back to the act of, I like that. Everywhere he goes. Yeah, well, next week, I'm bouncing back like a tennis ball. Don't worry about that. And you know, you know I can always tell what I've won because I don't hear nothing from it. <laughs> Just disappears off the radar. Yeah. Gone. Oh, I, was so, I was so flexed with our two wins that I forgot about it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. <laughs> Well, listen, Lee, thanks very much, right? And thanks to you guys. And don't forget to check out all the content over this weekend. AFTV in Nigeria, doing a watch party with some Nigerian fans. I'm going to wow. be out there, so make sure you check that out. We're also going to be at the game, speaking to fans. Um, I think he said Upton Park there. Yeah. At the London Stadium, right? So after the game. And we've got a watch along in the studio. Where we'll be... be you're... you're I'm, I'm in the studio, yeah. You're in the studio, studio. Eh? Right, so we'll be there in the studio as well. Right, so make sure you check it out. We are all over it this weekend. The season is starting to wind down now to the climax, to the end. And I can tell you this, if Arsenal can get into the top four this season, I don't care what no one says, it would have been a very good season. It's progress. And that's what we want to see with this team, progress. And it could be very significant going into next season if we can get that Champions League place the type of players we can buy and bring him back European football to this great club so thanks for watching um, don't forget to subscribe here to AFTV and we'll catch you next week shop for AFTV merch at shop.aftv.co.uk subscribe to us on YouTube follow us on Instagram Facebook Twitter TikTok Snapchat and Twitch we've got content for every platform, so check it out.